Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I thought today I would take a quick break from this mess. I'm building something out of walnut over there. And I thought I would review this Fit and Hot handheld welder. It looked pretty interesting. It looks like a heat gun. But apparently, if you want, you can fit an electrode into the end here and weld holding it like a gun, which I think would be incredibly awkward. I'm not sure. I'm going to give that a shot. But it also comes with a stinger here. Included in the kit is a little wire brush and a little hammer for knocking slag off. Uh, a pair of canvas gloves. I'm not sure these would shield you very well from the heat. And then your obligatory handheld mask with probably a level 10 shade in here. You know, you have to assemble the mask and you're supposed to hold the mask with one hand while you weld with the other, which can be difficult. So I won't be using that. I won't be using these. I won't be using that. Well, I might be using that. We'll see. But, um, setup is pretty easy. You have a ground clamp, you have a stinger, you have a power plug. So the ground clamp plugs into the bottom here. The stinger plugs into the nozzle here. And then you plug it in. And you use this little wheel here to change the amperage depending on the size of the material that you're welding and the type of electrodes you're using. I bought some 16th inch and 8th inch electrodes. I'll try them both out. I'm not sure what the capacity of this is. I, I looked through the instruction manual. I think it has a 25% duty cycle, if I'm reading it right. But that's pretty much all the pertinent information given here. There's a lot of safety information and and things like that. But um, So I figured I'd pick up a couple of packs of electrodes and give it a shot. This is the adapter that you use if you want to load an electrode directly into the nozzle of the gun and use it that way. And I will attempt that, but I don't see how that can be useful. If this works as a arc welder, um, you know, it's pretty lightweight. It's using inverter technology. Um, for some reason, it has a couple of USB ports on there, I guess, for charging things. Um, if this works out, though, as a small portable arc welder, I mean, this would be great, regardless of the, you know, the form factor. Um, just to have this little bitty guy hanging around if I wanted to use a little, little stick, you know, do a little bit of stick welding somewhere where I don't want to lug around. Um, I don't have a stick welder, but I have a MIG welder over here, and if I don't want to lug that around, if, you know, this is very, very portable, very lightweight, and so if this works out, it'll be kind of a, a cool little device. So anyway, I'm going to go get it set up, and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll test out some of these electrodes. All right, it's going to be a little noisy because I got the door open. So I plugged it in, and we've got a little green standby light right here. I've got my material set up, grounded. I've got my stinger set up with the electrode in it. I'm all suited up and ready to go, except for my gloves. I hold it, I think it tells you to hold the button for three seconds to turn it on, which is a nice little safety feature. All right, so our welding current goes from 20 to 120. Let's start off relatively moderate at 40. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure where we're even supposed to be on this. I'm doing the 1 16th electrode first. We'll try it out, see what we end up with.
a little hot, I burned through. Okay, minimum doesn't work. That was 30, still a little too low. I guess it's back to 40. I think it's burning way too fast. There we go. I just gotta learn the right technique. I don't know what I'm doing here. Now those are some pretty ugly welds. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I have zero experience stick welding on sheet metal. Um, the very little experience that I have stick welding, it was with you know really nicely um, prepared material, and it gave the it gave the weld pool a nice place to land and everything. Right now it's kind of just spraying all over the place, and it, I'm not sure if it's my technique or if it's what's going on with the welder. So I'm gonna swap out to the eighth inch electrode and I think I'm gonna get a piece of angle and see if I can't do a little bit better job. All right, this is an eighth inch rod. Our setting is 40 out of 120. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna turn it up a smidge. Now we're at 50. Now we're at 70. I'm pretty sure that my struggles are my technique more than it's the actual welder being the issue. I have no technique. Well, she ain't pretty, but she welds. Okay, let me try one more. Um, I'm gonna test with the electrode actually coming out of the gun and just play around with that real quick. I assume it's gonna work since the stinger works and it connects to the end of the gun. But I'll give that a try and then I will uh, come back with my conclusions. All right, here's the gun with the electrode sticking out of it. This is gonna be interesting. I'll give it a shot.
That is some ugly welding, but again, it's probably me and my lack of control. Um, but as you can see, it does lay down material and it does stick things together. So maybe with some technique, some practice, I could probably get some pretty decent welds out of this guy. And some better material too, obviously. This is just like a piece of a bed rail that I cut up just for this demonstration. All right, so that little test just proved how poor of a welder I actually am. Um, regardless of whether or not I'm a good welder, I have made some observations and I'd like to share them with you. Uh, first of all, the ground is pretty short. It looks to be about only a meter long, about three feet. So isn't a problem when you're using the electrode holder, the stinger, because the, the cable on this is about six feet long. But when you're using it in handheld mode, you are limited by the length of the ground cable. Speaking of handheld mode, I don't really, I don't see a scenario where handheld mode is more convenient than using a normal electrode holder. It's, this is smaller, it's a little easier to maneuver, to, easier to control, um, and this is like holding a big hair dryer or a heat gun and trying to get that electrode in there. So, I mean, it's a neat concept. I think it's more, I think it's cooler in the fact that you can fit a welder in this space right here. As far as the quality of the welds go, um, I think that's on me. I, I think it did a good job. The, the penetration was really good. Um, you know, the quality of the welds were bad just because I don't really know how to stick weld that well. Um, but I figure with some practice, I could really lay down some nice uh, welds. The cables are interchangeable if you want to weld with reverse polarity for whatever reason. Um, I'm sure there's maybe some scenario out there where your reverse polarity would be a better option. Uh, I didn't even test the USB ports. I just don't, I don't know. Trying to charge a sensitive electronics uh, with a welder just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. So I wasn't even going to try it. Um, maybe there's some type of an attachment that would make use of these, but I think this is just one of those little uh, added value type things that they threw in um, just to, you know, add functionality at maybe a, you know, a small cost of upgrade. I'm not sure. So for those of you that are curious, yes, it does weld um, and it welds okay. I mean, I was only using about half the power of this guy with an eighth inch electrode. And it, uh, it didn't seem to struggle with it at all. It didn't get overly hot. I was able to lay down a bead um, for a little while. It obviously was not a torture test by any means and I didn't test the limitations of this guy. I just really wanted to test to see if it really did weld and it does. And it's really small and lightweight and very portable. And it will be handy if I get into a spot where I need to be able to get a welder somewhere where I don't want to take my MIG welder with my gas bottle and everything along. So once again, this is the Fit and Hot, Fit and Hot handheld welder. If you're interested in checking it out for yourself, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below. Big thanks to the Fit and Hot team for sending me this unit to test out. Go ahead and leave me your opinions and your comments below. You can tell me how terrible my welds are. I already know that. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one.